This morning, I'm going to take you along as I Marie Kondo my closet. So let's get into it. So here's my closet. This is my half of the closet. That's what we'll be working on today. If I feel very ambitious, I'll see if um, <laughs> Nathan wants to declutter from his side, but honestly, he's pretty good about decluttering stuff that he's not using. So I have probably a little bit more than half the closet, but that's mainly because I hang up literally everything, even t-shirts. And then these are all, this is not cheese, don't worry. Um, this is all Nathan's ties. I really want to try to figure out a better way <gasps> to store them other than in a cheese box. But, um, that's what we've got right now. So, I don't know why that boppy cover is in there, but it is. So, we'll be cleaning that out too. So let's, let's start piling up the clothes. So what makes Marie condoing your closet different than just decluttering your closet? It's mainly to do with the fact that in the Marie Kondo method, if you pull everything out, you put it in a big pile and you sort through it piece by piece, but you have like a huge pile of clothes. Like you gather up all your clothes, like all of them, all of the clothes for that particular person. You pile up on your bed and you go through them. To me, that is very intimidating because I, I normally just take out a couple of pieces at a time or I will um, kind of sort through what I have in my closet and then put back the things that I really like and then pull out this off season stuff. I kind of go by like different categories, but I have decided that I'm going to try the Marie Kondo method and see what I like and what I don't like. This is something that I feel like I will not like um, just because it'll make a big mess. It'll be kind of overwhelming for me. While I am a decluttering, I'm abiding by the three month rule. If you haven't worn it in the last three months, get rid of it. You're probably not gonna wear it in the next three months. And then you have to declutter it anyway. Um, something that I didn't notice, that I wouldn't have noticed if I didn't do it to Marie Kondo method and that I actually have a decent amount of clothes and I thought I had a very minimal, like very minimal supply of clothes. And I think it's okay because some of it is like maternity clothes, clothes that I would wear when I'm nursing, that sort of thing. I'm planning on having more kids so I'm not going to get rid of those items. But something that I have run into like doing this method is just like I suspected, it is a little bit overwhelming and it is taking a lot longer <clears throat> because I have to, I'm pulling everything off the hangers, I'm sorting through it, but I have noticed the amount and of stuff I have. Like this is all of my clothes, except there might be like one or two pieces in the wash. Marie Kondo would say, go get those pieces, but I literally just wore them. They're stinky and full of baby spit up, no doubt. And if I wore them like in the last two days, I'm going to decide to keep them. So I am going to not do that part of it. <laughs> All right, so the next step after pulling stuff out of your closet and unhangering them and sorting through them, the next step is touching every piece and asking yourself, does this spark joy? Now for me, that like, I don't know, there's just kind of something off about it. This clothing is inanimate. Like, how is it gonna bring me joy? Like, lasting joy? It doesn't. But, I do I feel good when I wear this? I, I guess, what when I say, does this give me joy? Or does this spark joy? That's kind of what I think of. So, those are the questions that I'm going to be asking when you see me picking up every item. And if it sparks joy, it's going in my closet right away. If it doesn't, does this spark joy? This I don't like because it's white or it's cream. This I absolutely love, but it's white. And now that I have a baby, hey, look, it's my branded shirt. Thank you to my brother, who I'm sure will not be watching this video. 
All right, I'm gonna put this on fast motion so that you don't get bored out of your ever loving mind. As I pick up each item, I'm asking myself, do I feel good while wearing this? Here I am sorting out my husband's ties by color and he actually ended up getting rid of half of them so they fit all in one tray. I absolutely love how my closet turned out. I love that it's all rainbow order. I was kind of concerned that I wouldn't be able to like find my things because I like to have all the like things together. But because I have such a minimal closet, that wasn't um, a problem. So going into it, I had a couple of concerns. My main concern was it being really overwhelming that everything was piled onto my bed and I would just feel really overwhelmed. And when I feel overwhelmed, that means I don't really want to do anything about it. I just kind of shrivel up into a ball in the corner and not do anything. Who can relate, right? Another concern I had was it just taking so long. And honestly, it didn't take that long and it wasn't as overwhelming as I thought it was going to be. Um, and a bonus is when I had all of the clothes piled onto my bed, I actually realized how much clothes I actually have. And that surprised me. I consider myself kind of a minimalist when it comes to clothes. And I looked at all the clothes and I'm like, I don't even wear half of these clothes. So I was able to get rid of a whole bag of clothes that I don't use and I'm able to donate it. So. If you're feeling stuck in your organizing journey, I challenge you to try a different method that you don't normally use. I normally don't pile all my clothes on top of my bed, like Marie Kondo method says, but I decided to try it. And I actually learned quite a bit from this experience and I really enjoyed it. So I bet you will too. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends and I will see you in the next one. Bye!